again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today we have the Arbor Poncho. Previously on this channel, we've done the shawl and the blanket. Well, now we have even more options. Absolutely love this design. And it is very, very simple with just a three round repeat. Yes. And for this project, I used Red Heart Super Saver in the color of Mulberry. For those of you that are not familiar with the yarn, it is 100% acrylic, a weight of four, and about 364 yards. Now I used two skeins for this project, and even after doing the edging here, I had about this much left over. Of course, you can use as you know, much yarn as you want, you know, make it as big or as small as you want, totally up to you. And for this project, I used a size J six millimeter hook. Now for today's piece, I'm going to be using a little bit of a lighter color so that it's easier to see. Again, Red Heart Super Saver in the color of medium purple. Now, this video is not sponsored, but I like to let you know what it is that I use in case if you want to duplicate the results. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first things first, for the neckline, you need a base chain of 80 chains. Seems like a lot, but you do need to be able to get this over your head in comfort and style. So at this point, start up with your base chain of 80 chains, and then we'll get started with round one. All right. All right, so the first round is actually very, very simple. It is just going to be single crocheting. But first, before we do that, we have to join our chain into a ring, making sure that it is not twisted. Cannot stress that enough. So to make sure it's not twisted, have your hook in your first chain there and sort of scan your chain going along, making sure that it is not twisted. And then we will connect it to create a loop. So we have our tail end there. So going to turn it facing toward us like so. And then to make things easiest, I just like to go underneath the top loop of the V. You could go underneath both loops. It's a bit more difficult. Uh, or the, the back bump, that's fine too, but I just like to go underneath that top loop and going to slip, stitch through there, and we are connected. Now at this point, chain up one and single crochet into every chain all the way around. That's really all there is to it for the first round. And then when you have reached the end, it is very smart and very much recommended to double count your single crochet stitches to make sure that you do in fact have 80 because it's very easy to accidentally do an extra stitch or miss one when you're doing this. So double count. It'll save you some grief in the long run. Trust me. And then going to slip stitch to the first single crochet that we did to finish up round one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on keeping on with my singles off camera and I will meet back up with you for the end of this round. So I will see you in a bit. All right, so I did a double count of all of my single crochets just to make sure that I in fact have 80, and I do. And it is at this point especially that you want to be sure that your initial round is not twisted, and then go into that first single crochet. This was the chaining up of one. So into that single crochet slip stitch, and then we can really get underway. 
there you go. So that is the end of round one. Now, if you are not interested in doing the single crochet for the collar, that is totally up to you. Personally, I found that it gave the neckline a little bit more stability. If you want to use just chains, that is totally up to you. The crochet police are not going to come after you, trust me. Um, if you want to use double crochets, that is an option. However, the neckline, it might be a little bit warbly, if you will. Um, you know, it may not lie completely flat. So I found single crochets, for me at any rate, was the way to go. So let's continue on with round two. Round two. All right, now this is where the fun starts. Okay, now at the beginning and at the midpoint of our first round is where we're going to be creating the points for the front and the back points of our poncho. And the space in between, it's going to be the sides. So start off by chaining up four. One, two, three, and four. So that is going to count as a double crochet and a chain one space. Then into that same stitch, right down below, right in here, double crochet. And this is half of the point. Uh, we're going to finish this half with another half on this side when we have come full circle. You'll see what I mean when we get there. In the meantime, chain three, and skipping three stitches. So we just worked into that one. So one, two, and three into that fourth single crochet, two double crochets, right into that same stitch there. And then three double crochets, one in each stitch. There we are. And then two double crochets into the same stitch. So it's a total of seven doubles for this grouping. And yes, it does help also to double count as you go. So we do have the seven. Now from here, chain three, skipping four stitches, one, two, three, four, into that fifth stitch, double crochet, just one. There we are. So this grouping of seven, we need three of these groupings of seven, and then we will be reaching the center point on the opposite side. So let us continue on. Chain three. Skipping four stitches. One, two, three, four, into the fifth one. Two doubles. And then a double into each of the next three stitches. And then two doubles into the next for the grouping of seven. Okay, chain three, skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, into that fifth one, a double crochet. Okay, so we already have two groupings of seven. We need one more, and then we can do, sorry, I have to grab more yarn, then we can do uh, the opposite point. So 
chain three, skipping four stitches into the fifth, two doubles, okay, a double into each of the next three. And then two doubles in the next stitch. Okay, now at this point, because we are approaching the point, uh, this will be the, the front point, chain three. And just as we had done previously by skipping only three stitches, uh, going to skip three here as well. One, two, and three into that fourth stitch, double crochet. Okay, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, and double crochet into the same stitch. There you go. So this is going to be the, the front point. And so, yes, we are at the, the halfway mark at this point. So let's keep on going to finish up round two. All right, so from here, chain three. And because this is the, the point here, skipping only three chains, one, two, three, into that fourth, two doubles. Then a double into each of the next three stitches. There we go. And then two doubles into the next stitch for our grouping of seven. There we are. Chain three. Skipping four stitches, one, two, three, four, into the fifth, a double crochet. Chain three. Skipping four stitches, one, two, three, four, into that fifth, two doubles. A double into each of the next three. There we go. Two doubles into the next stitch. Okie dokie. Chain three. Skipping four stitches, one, two, three, four, into the next one, a double crochet. And if my calculations are correct, we need only one more grouping of seven. And then we will be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so chain three. Skipping four stitches. One, two, three, four, into that fifth, two doubles, double into each of the next three stitches, okay, two doubles into the next stitch. And we should have three stitches left. One, two, and three. Yes, it worked. It's nice when that happens. Okay, so from here, got to finish up round one by chaining three. Okay, now going to double crochet into the base of 
this grouping here. Now, you could go into this stitch right here. However, I think it looks a little bit neater, if you will, if you go underneath the base of here. Just personal suggestion. So I'm going to go into the base of right into there, right in there, with my double crochet. And of course I caught apply. <laughs> Naturally. All right, I'm going to try that again. Sorry, folks. There we go. Okay, and then chain one and slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom, like so. That way there's still a chain space in between our initial double crochet and that second one that we made. So slip stitch right into there. And voila, so you've got three doubles separated by chain one spaces, and this is the back. So if it looks a little less than perfect than the front, that's okay. This is the back, um, but it does work. So that is the end of round two, and we shall continue on. Yes, let's get, let's, let's do it, shall we? All right, let's keep going. Round three. Okay, now that we have the basis for our piece done, the neckline, the rest is, in my opinion, going to be easy straight. So, going to start off by chaining up five. Now, you could do a chaining up of six so that you have an official, you know, double crochet and chain three space. However, I find that it's just a little too big of a loop. So I like to go with a chaining of five, personal opinion. One, two, three, four, and five. Then into this next double, three double crochets. And so for this round, basically, when you come across a, a lonely double crochet like this little guy here, or this one here, you go from one to three. The sevens, well, the leaves don't get any bigger than sevens, so they're, they're gonna be going from seven down to five. That's the basis for this particular round. So chain three, and we're gonna skip the first and the last double, just doing doubles in the middle five. So skip the first, double into the next five stitches. Okay. That's two, three, four, and five. Chain three. And yes, we're gonna be skipping this last double right there. So then into that solitary double, three double crochets. One, two, and three, chain three. Skipping the first and the last double of this grouping of seven, so that we only have five, so skip, and then five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five, skip that last one, chain three, into that lonely double, he needs friends, let's give him three, three doubles into that double, one, 
There we are. Chain three. And then again, skipping that first one, going into the next five with doubles. It's one. Two, three, four, and five, chain three, and we have reached the front center point. So into the first double, three doubles. chain three, one double into the middle, that is our center spine, chain three, there we go, and then three doubles into the third of our trio. And so this is ultimately right here. This is how our piece is going to grow in the front as well as the back. Okay. The, the sides remain static. It's just the front and the back. That's what creates the shape of our poncho. And so then from here, let's continue down the opposite side. So chain three. Skip the first double, working doubles into the next five. Two more. Okay, chain three. Skip that last one there. Going into the solitary double here with three doubles. Okay, chain three. Skipping the first, double into the next five. That's three, four, and five. Chain three. Skip that last one there. And then into that next solitary, three doubles. Okay, chain three, pull out some more yarn, and we are nearly to the end here, so skip that first double, double into the next five. That's three, four, and five. Chain three, skipping that last one. And then, okay, so we've reached the end of the road. Now into this double crochet here, three doubles. There we are, chain three, and then into the third chain from the bottom, one, two, and three, right into there, slip stitch, so that we can finish round three. Okay, 
And there you are. End of round three. All right. Okay, so for round four, we are going to be continuing along in the same fashion by increasing the new leaves, like this little guy here, and decreasing the older ones. So the new ones, they're going to go from three to five, and the older ones are going to be going from five down to three. So it, it's creating an equilibrium, if you will. So start off by chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five. So to make the, the three into five, two doubles into the first and last stitch. The middle one remains just one double. So two doubles in the first, one double in the second, and then two doubles into the third, so that we've got five stitches. See, from three to five. Chain three. Again, we're gonna be skipping the first and last stitches of this exi existing leaf, excuse me. So skip the first, double into the next three, Okay, and we're going to skip that last one. So we went from seven to five to three, chain three, and build this one out. Two doubles into the first, one into the second, and then two into the third. There, chain three. Skip the first, double into the next three, and then skip the last. Chain three. Two doubles into the first, one into the second, two into the third. Chain three, skipping the first, double into the next three, Skipping the last. Chain three. And we have reached the back center spine. Well, the front center spine. Um, so it's going to be five doubles, one double, five doubles. So let's get to it and two doubles into the first, one double into the second, two doubles into the third. Okay, chain three. and then double into the center spine. Just one. There we go. Chain three. Then two into the first. One into the second then two into the third. Chain three. Okay, gonna decrease this one. Skip the first, double into the next three, and skip the last. Chain three. 
I don't know about you, but this stitch has such a beautiful rhythm to it. At least I think so. Okay, so from here, chain three. And so on this one, two in the first, one in the second, two in the third. Okay, two in the first, one in the second, two in the third. Chain three. Okay, skip the first, double into the next three, skip the last. chain three, two doubles in the first, one into the second, and two doubles into the third. There we go. And we are almost to the end of the round. Yes, it is true. Okay. So, chain three. Skip the first. Double into the next three. Chain three. Okay, last grouping that we have to work in, so that's two into the first, one into the second, two into the third. Okay, then last but not least, chain three and slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom. And there you are. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that is the end of round four. All right, so Round five, we are going to be coming full circle with our piece here. So much like we did down here, we're gonna be continuing on in the same sort of fashion. So start off by chaining up four. One, two, three, four. And then into that same stitch, double crochet because like when we started, we were only doing half of the initial three. So from here, chain three, and this leaf here, we're going to be bringing it to its, you know, its maximum of seven, and the, the threes, we're gonna be reducing down to ones. So into the first stitch, two doubles, and then double into the next three, and then two doubles in the last for a total of seven. So you can see that this is coming to be full circle. And then chain three, skipping the first and the last, just into that middle one, double crochet, chain three, and then into this next grouping, two in the first, two in the last, one in each of the center three. Okay. 
That's one, two, and one, two, three, and then two in the last. There. So we have our seven once again. Two in the first, two in the last, three in the middle. Okay, let me grab some more yarn. And let's keep going. Okay, chain three. It's always a chain three space in between your leaves, regardless. So skipping the first and the last, going right in the middle with a double chain three. Two in the first. One in each for the next three. And two in the last. Okay, chain three. One in the middle. There we go. Chain three. Okay, have this one grow. So two in the first. One in each for the next three. And then two into the last. Okay, and this is the spine. So chain three and then into that center stitch, double, chain one, double, chain one, and double. Chain three, and then two doubles into the first, Double into each of the next three. And then two doubles into the last. Okay, a bit more yarn. There we go. Continue down this side. So chain three, double into the center of the three, chain three, skipping ahead to the next grouping, two in the first, one in each of the next three, And then two in the last. Okay, chain three. Double into the center stitch. Chain three. Next grouping, two doubles into the first. A double into each of the next three. And two in the last. Chain three. One double into the center. And 
we are almost there. Okay, so chain three, two doubles into the first, one in each of the next three, There we go. And then two in the last. And then last but not least, we need to finish up the back spine. So chain three, and then scooting into the base of this first stitch. Now I'm gonna go right into there a little bit tight, but I think it's worth it. So right into there with my double crochet, chain one, and then slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom. There we go. And voila, the end of round five. Alrighty, my dears. So that is going to conclude the first part of this tutorial. In the next part, I would like to give a comprehensive look at the repeat for this pattern, as well as show you how to do the border edging. And if you like this video so far, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation. And let me know what sorts of colors, what sort of yarn you think you are gonna be using for this project. Always love your feedback. And until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.